I'm recording, okay. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Bella, and today, I am never prepared for this. Never prepared. It's gonna be a boxy charm video. Boxy charm video. Okay, enough being weird. This month's box, I was, was excited for it, but after using the products, not so much. So let's just jump right into it. If you want to see, then just keep watching. Duh, that's how it always is. So this month's theme is vacation. Cute, cute. The first thing are these eye patches, and uh, yeah, I didn't try them on, but I still talked about them without any makeup on. So let's go scare the world. <laughs> The first thing that we have is this South Main 3 Eye Gel Packs. Reduces puffiness, reduces dark circles, moisturizes eye area. Great, awesome. Thoroughly cleanse eye area, apply this product under the eye, leave on for 30 minutes to reduce puffiness and dark circles. Use promptly after opening for best results. Use for three consecutive days. And you get three in here, so that's cool. I am not gonna try these out because I don't have half hours around the world. I gotta go somewhere. I've got places to go, people to see. So, but that's cool. Shit like this, you wouldn't be able to tell really how it works anyways, because it says it takes three days. So, you guys get it. This is cute. Very awesome. And this retails for $10. So that's not bad. You get three of them for 10 bucks. Not bad, not bad. Pretty excited to try that. And then, we got a brush set, three brushes, the Vintage Cosmetic Smoky Eye Brush Set. This retails for $23.15. Like, why 15 cents? And why 23? It's a really weird number. Very strange. But, yeah, $23.15. <laughs> so, these I used with... The other item that we got in this month's box, which is this palette, which I'm not opening because, you know, you'll see why in a minute, but this palette retails for $36. This is the Pure Complexion Authority eyeshadow palette. There's no, like, certain name for it. It's just a collab between BoxyCharm and Pure. I will go use those and make this happen on my eyes, so. So now we're gonna do the next two products. Um, first one is this Vintage Cosmetics Smoky Eye Brush Set. Put this on my go. She's pretty. I like the packaging. I love getting brushes. I really do love brushes. All right. You get these three brushes. They each say... Hmm. This one is step one for the money, which I would use this to pack on color, so that's cool. Step two is for the shadow, which is a fluffy angled brush. It's actually really soft that I might use for the crease. And then step three is go girl go. And it's like a little smudger. I would use it to smudge underneath my eye. So those are really cute and I'm going to use them with this palette. I love BoxyCharm because Ah, mine's broken. What the hell? Dish one's broken. I can't really hold up the palette because this one is shattered. Awesome. I, that sucks. Eh. But yeah, this is the palette. <laughs> I have to hold it weird because I don't want the broken eyeshadow to go everywhere. But yeah, she's pretty. I like the pops of color and then all these really nice maroony, mauve neutral stuff, you know? This is a Pure and BoxyCharm collaboration. They made this together specially for BoxyCharm. And it's really cute, it has little hearts. I don't think you can tell. But yeah, see it has little hearts and everything in here. It's very cute, it has a nice mirror. It says Pure and BoxyCharm, just very, very cute. So, I'm gonna use this with these. So I'm gonna go do my brows and everything and I'll be right back so we can do that. I should have done that first. You know, I'm good at this. So now my brows are on, they look kinda weird, but whatever. It's 
So I'm going to take this number number two brush, the fluffy brush, and I'm gonna try and use the broken chain, which is called perfect. Yeah, that might not be a good idea. And I'm not gonna use that mirror because I don't want the shadow to go everywhere. So I'm just using this all over to set down the lid. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Nakey right here. And that's gonna go in my crease doesn't really show up that much and I don't really like this brush I'm not gonna use this brush anymore because I don't really like it so I'm gonna take my fluffy brush that I always use the Morphe M504 and pick up that shade and use this brush instead which actually mm, the shadow still is very light we do have to build it a lot Nope. So far, not a fan of this shade. I'm gonna go into the one next to it, which is Belle, right here, and add that in there too. Eh. It's all right. Who do I wanna do? I think I'm gonna take the number one brush and I'm gonna use this purple shade, BFF, right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer edges. I don't know. That's okay. Not anything super duper special, but it's okay. The shade's really pretty. Did I even tell you what I was using? No, I didn't. I'm taking Bay right there that in the first half. It's really pretty. I feel like these colors are not very pigmented. I was actually really excited for this palette, but like, it's like I blended it away on the outer edge. All right, so I just put on my foundation and powdered and everything. So now I'm going to use this step three brush with, I'm going to take Duet, the dark brown. And we're just gonna put that on the lower lash line. So that works. All right, I like that for the lower lash line. So that's cool. And then we have a blush, which is very pink, very, very pink. This is from the brand Pretty Vulgar. They're a fairly new brand. And this retails for $26. I wish I got a different shade, but it's still I'll use it. It's something I don't have in my collection, so it's okay. I'm not that mad at that. That's actually probably my favorite thing in the box because everything else was... <clears throat> but, go see me put some blush on my cheeks. Some blush on my cheeks. This is number 111 Prim Vixen. Very bright. Hopefully it doesn't look ridiculous. usually don't like blushes that are this pink, but let's give it a go. That's a lot. Very pretty. If you use a light hand, it doesn't look bad. That's cute, I like it. I didn't think that I was going to, but I do. And then the last thing that we got was this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara, which retails for $20. Dang, this is expensive for how it performs. So go see me ruin my entire makeup look. Now let's do some mascara. I got this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Volumizing Mascara in black. Ooh, look at the packaging. It's upside down, but so nice. I like that. Now let's take a look. Hmm. So that's what the wand looks like. Like it could be okay, it could be okay. And let's apply. It's nice, but I don't know. It does make them longer, but it doesn't make them fuller. So. Can I just mess it up? Yeah, doing real good. Doing real good. 
Well, it just picked up my under eye. What is wrong with me lately? I can't. It's a very wet formula. And it just smudged all underneath. Yeah. Good job, Ashley. All right. So, not really a fan of that. It's okay. It lengthened. Can you see? But. I thought this bunch box was going to be good, but I'm not very impressed. We've got more mascara. Okay. That's everything in this month's box. It reads the total, let's see, about $115 worth of product for $21 a month. That ain't bad, if you ask me. Even though I wasn't like crazy about everything, it's still worth it, you know? You get to try new things. These two were probably my favorites and I haven't even tried these yet, but I'm gonna assume that they're good. And yeah, so that's it. I hope that you guys like this video and I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up maybe if you want to, for me, it'd be really nice. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe down below because why not? Bye! Where you'd use the dip dip dip. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a brownie color. Color. Oh god. Alright. It's actually. Oh, these. Are a little bit.